When it comes to redacting sensitive information from documents, you might be asking yourself, do I stick with Adobe Acrobat's redaction tool or should I just try something purpose-built like Redactable. If you've ever faced long hours of manually removing confidential details or worrying about whether you miss something, you know how important it is to choose the right redaction tool just for you. In this video, we'll compare Redactable, the AI-powered cloud platform, to Adobe Acrobat, which has the ability to remove text and block things out, but is not specifically a redaction tool. We're gonna break down in this video their features, the pros and cons, and best use cases to help you decide which one fits your your needs, whether you're managing sensitive legal documents, financial records, or client data. So first, let's start with Redactable. It's a cloud-based platform and tailor-made to be the solution that is designed for document redaction. Using AI-powered automation, it scans and removes sensitive information with unmatched speed and accuracy. Think redacting an entire 10-page document in just two and a half minutes or less. No manual work, no guesswork. You can build from the ground up to handle redaction. And Redactable is particularly suited for teams managing large volumes of documents who need fast, compliant, and secure workflows. It also eliminates the metadata, something many users often overlook, but it can expose hidden information if you don't remove it. On the other hand, Adobe Redaction is essentially a feature of Adobe Acrobat Pro, and it's a versatile PDF editor overall, don't get me wrong. It's ideal for occasional redaction needs and allows users to manually mark text, images, or patterns for removal. For businesses already relying on Adobe Acrobat for general PDF editing, its redaction tool can be a convenient add-on. While Adobe works well for smaller ad hoc projects, its reliance on manual redaction can make it a time-consuming process for larger workloads. Imagine you have so many different articles you're working on and this is like your entire business, I don't know if I'd be a fan of just using Adobe for this. Now let's break down some of the features that really matter. AI and automation, ease of use, security, these are all things that you want to focus on. And where AI comes into place is pretty much where Redactable shines the most. It's AI-powered automation detects sensitive information like names, account numbers, or confidential phrases across entire documents in seconds. With one single click, you can redact everything without having anything missed. In contrast, Adobe's redaction process is pretty manual, and you'll need to search for specific content yourself to identify sensitive fields. While functional, it requires more effort and oversight, especially for long documents. If your workflow involves thousands of pages or repetitive tasks, Redactable's automation is a clear winner here. Now, let's talk about ease of use as well. Redactable's interface is modern, cloud-based, and user-friendly. It's easy enough for non-technical users to navigate. And with simple workflows that guide you through the process step-by-step, step, it really is pretty simple. Plus, because it's in the cloud, there's really no need for installing anything, right? You just log into your browser and from there you get to work. Now, Adobe, while robust, is a part of the broader Adobe Acrobat Pro desktop suite. And its interface can feel overwhelming for first-time users due to the sheer number of features and tools that are available. I mean, it's a whole other product. And because it's desktop-based, you'll need to actually download your files, apply redactions, and re-upload them to any cloud storage you're using. And if you're using multiple different tools, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to always download those different physical tools need to have their own apps, right? Like iPad and other products. But with Redactable, you only really need to just log in the browser of whatever product it is. No downloads, no fuss. I think Redactable is much more convenient in that sense. And then we have security. Now this one's clear and obvious. Redaction is about protecting sensitive data, right? And you're going to want to make sure security is non negotiable. So with Redactable, you can trust that every redaction is permanent and irreversible. Even hidden metadata like author names or version history is automatically removed. So nothing slips through the cracks. Now, when it comes to Adobe, I just want to point it out again, we're not really in the same realm with them because Adobe offers strong redaction capabilities, but only when the process is done correctly. If users accidentally use Adobe's other tools like the draw tool to mask sensitive information instead of properly redacting it, the data can still be recovered. This introduces extreme compliance risks and we do not want you to make that mistake. So for industries with strict regulations like legal or healthcare, redactable secure workflows and audit trails offer an extra layer of confidence. So now that we've covered their features, let's weigh the pros and cons of each tool. First, when it comes to Redactable's pros, it has AI automation that saves time and reduces human error. It's fully cloud-based, so you and your team can access it anywhere. Second, it removes all types of sensitive data. Whether this is invisible, hidden, or metadata, it is essential to remove all of these things when working with the Redaction software, and we have the capability to do all of those very easily with Redactable. Plus, the collaboration tools like commenting and role assignments make team workflows super seamless. For Adobe, there are some solid pros. For low-volume teams that don't really need to do a lot of this, it's 
great to have it just with your PDF editor. It's integrated with Adobe Acrobat Pro, which is a pretty solid tool overall. And it's desktop based, which may suit teams for working in more regulated environments that restrict cloud based access. Some cons for Redactable include that it's best suitable for teams with frequent redaction needs. So if you don't need a lot, it might be overkill for casual users. For Adobe though, it does lack AI and automation. So it does take a lot more time. And if you have large documents, not really worth it. The collaboration features are much more limited and it's not as built for team-based workflows. That's another con. Plus, metadata requires extra steps if you want to remove it. So between these two tools, to me, it's pretty clear and obvious that Redactable is just that much better when it comes to if you are someone who needs a tool for redaction, obviously it's even in the name, use Redactable. Adobe Acrobat and its redaction feature is solid if you need light use, but you're definitely going to want to go with Redactable if you're somebody who needs more compliance or just more use. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to try out the Redactable product by clicking the link in the description down below today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.